we had this morning. All right. So just a recap of what we had in the last class. We talked about goal settings. And then the first point was beginning with the end in mind. That is having a, a clearer mental future of what you intend to achieve. All right, and the next thing we talked about was write them down, write your goals down, okay? Then we also share more light into why you need to write the possible obstacles, all right, that might hinder you from achieving your goals. Then we said that you need to treat those obstacles on paper. And then the last thing we talked about was get to work, all right? Get to work. Now, just to sum that up in the words of Tony, <clears throat> one of my mentors, Tony Robbins, he define goal setting as the first step, you know, in turning the invisible to visible. All right. That mm. goal setting. Can you say that step. again? Can you say that again? Yeah. Mm. Goal settings is the first step in turning the invisible into visible. All right. So we'll be able to do that. So this morning, very quickly, we will be going into the importance of goal settings. All right you need to understand why it's so important that for you to achieve success, you need to align certain goals, you need to set up goals, and then you work toward achieving them. So today, we'll be drawing on the importance of goal setting. I have a whole lot on my note right now, but I'll give up as much as time, you know, will permit me, all right? So the number one reason is um, goals gives you focus. Right, Coach, then, point, just a minute. If you say if time permits you, even if you can finish today, we know that goal setting is quite an elaborate. Quite broad, you know. <laughs> so if today will not be enough, let's know. We're gonna get you back on Monday. All right, thank you so very much for that. So the number one point is goal gives you focus. All right, for you to achieve anything in life, you need to be focused, and until you be able to set a goal you might not be able to stay focused, all right? Because a lot of time without goals, our effort could become disjointed. You know, there are a whole lot of things that could distract us, all right? But if you have the ability to set your goals, having a clear mental picture of what you want to achieve, this, of course, will help you to stay focused. Now, for me, FOCUS is an acronym, that is F-O-C-U-S is an acronym that means follow one course until you succeed. Follow one course until you succeed. So what can help you achieve that success is if you have set your goals. So as you're waking up in the morning, you know what you are waking up to do, all right? Because if you don't set a goal for yourself, you could just wake up and you realize that, okay, what do I need to do today? What do I need to do today? Double do here, you double do here, all right? But when you set goals, all right, it helps you to do what? Stay focused. So that's the first point of the importance of setting goals. Now, the other point I want to talk about, the next point is goals help you to measure your progress. It helps you measure your progress, all right? You cannot know if you're making progress when you do not set goals. You need to stay on track. You need to do what we call daily evaluation. All right, for me, before I retire to bed, more often than not, one thing I ask myself is this, have I been able to achieve the, the things that I've written down on my to-do list? So if you don't have a goal, you probably won't even know where you're making progress. So it helps you stay on track. It helps you measure your progress. So you know if you're actually moving forward or if you're, if you're at a particular at the particular spot, all right? So when you set your goals, you will definitely be able to keep track of your progress that you're making. It's only when you set your goals, you will be definitely able to know when to do some tweaking. Now, the truth of the matter is this. You will not always achieve every goal you set at the first attempt, all right? You will not always achieve all the goals you set at first attempt. You will get to a point where you will have reason to give up, all right? You will get to a point where challenges are gonna pose on your way. But if you have set your goals, you're able to know, okay, at this point is where I'm hand, all right? Moving to the next level, of course, we know where you move to the next level. And that, of course, is gonna help you to measure 
your progress. Now, the third point I'm going to talk about this morning is goals help you stay motivated. All right, guys, goals will help you to stay motivated. Life, no one will help you, no one will motivate to succeed. I remember I, I, I probably did mention that. I don't know if I'm putting it correctly. You have to be the one to motivate yourself. All right, people can only encourage you. But the real drive for success has to come from within you. So guys, it's when you set your goals, each time you remember the mental picture of what you want to achieve, each time you turn around and you see the goals that you intend to achieve, it's going to help you stay motivated because we need that motivation to drive through depression. You will need that motivation to drive through obstacles. So ladies and gentlemen, it's one of the major things, all right, for you to achieve success is that you must set goals. I mean, this cannot be emphasized because in doing that, it's going to also help you stay motivated. Now, the other point is goals help you beat procrastination. Goals help you beat procrastination. Ladies and gentlemen, almost all of us, we are guilty of this. A lot of times we want to do something. It's like, ah, no, let me, I think I can do it tomorrow. I remember when we wanted to start this program. All right, we've conceived the idea. I mean, we started the conceived the idea some, you know, some months back, and it keeps shifting it. Okay, we're going to start next month. Okay, let's give it some time. We keep procrastinating. But at some point, we just started, and here we are making progress. And the reason why we we're able to get started was because we draw up our goals. Mm. Make it clear. This is what we intend to achieve from this platform. All right, empower, motivate, and let people stay focused. You know, building positive vibes every day. All right. So one of the things that can help you to beat procrastination is when you set your goals, because procrastination is very common. It's very, very. I mean, it's just like you're waking up every morning. You're like, okay, I'm going to do this a little, maybe tomorrow or maybe next tomorrow. But when you look at the outcome. When you look at the goals that you intend to achieve, guys, it's going to help you to beat motivation. Now, the other point I'll be sharing with us this morning, which is the fifth point, is that you achieve more when you set your goals. You tend to achieve more when you set goals. The reason is because by the time you're able to set a goal and you see yourself achieving that goal, you face victory. You'll be able to have a test of victory. I mean, it will propel you to wanting to do more because it tells you that this is achievable. And that is why it's important that you set goals because as you set your goals, as you drive toward achieving those goals, as you achieve those goals, you face that success. You face that victory. Now, for some of us are in the industry of network marketing, maybe your goal is to build a big team. Now you drive, you, you spell out your goals, you work tirelessly toward achieving that goal. Now, by the time you're able to build a big team and then you see the success that comes along with it, it gives you joy. It gives you a sense of fulfillment. And it tells you that, look, guys, I can do more. And because you've achieved that success, you will be driven to doing more. So goal settings helps you to do what? Achieve more. Now, the other point I want to talk about is goals help you determine what you truly want out of life. It's a goal that will help you to determine what you truly want out of life. I mean, there are a whole lot of things, distractions that will be thrown at you. I mean, you could meet a young man who probably said, look, I want to make money. And the first thing that comes to his mind is, okay, maybe I should apply for a job. And you send out CVs here and there, and maybe you're not getting invited for interview. The next thing is that, okay, maybe I should just go and, and learn a trade, or maybe I should just dabble into business. I mean, you could just you, you see yourself dabbling into a lot of things without achieving any form of success. But if you are able to set your goals, you're able to make it very clear, this is what I want to make out of life. This is what I want to achieve for this year. These and these are the things I'm able to set up myself. Now, it does not matter the obstacle you're going to encounter on your way towards achieving this goal. 
it will make you stay focused mm. because you already know what you want. But if those things are not clearly spelled out, guess what? You will dabble from one thing. Tomorrow you see other people doing some other thing, you dabble there. You don't even know which one is yours. Sometimes you venture into this. Oh, because your friend is doing a particular thing, you want to give it a try as well. And then you become a jack of all trades, master yeah. of no. Of no. So you can actually draw out your goals and then you eat it so hard. Now, let me just take up this before we wrap up for today. Goal settings holds you accountable. Goal settings holds you accountable. Guys, if you want to achieve success, you just have to be accountable for the things you do. You have to be accountable for yourself. You have to be accountable for your life. So it's only when you set goals that you will be able to be accountable. You need to take responsibility for your life. Mm. You can't play the blame game. No excuse. Say no to excuses because there will be a thousand and one reasons why you cannot achieve your goal. But when you take responsibility for your life, you will understand that you must either you kill your excuse or you wumble into failure. Now let me close with this. Like I've always said, the end of it all is not just in you achieving your goal or achieving the success. Always remember this, that the overall you know, excitement, the overall joy of it is the person that you have become. Mm. You see yourself becoming a better version of you. You see yourself becoming a greater version of you. Guys, I hope I've been able to give us some value this morning, and I hope I stick to time. Thank you very much, Mr. Fulabi, for giving me the opportunity to share this. God bless you. Amen. Uh, wow. Wow, just again, you coach down, you just you just did justice. You just did justice to this again. Uh, we can get enough of these nuggets. You are such a blessing to this uh you know community, and we are grateful and thankful to have somebody, a dynamic, a great uh leader like you, and being a coach, you are giving us everything that you have learned that has worked for you. Uh, we quite appreciate it. And I, I believe the, the viewers, the audience quite got big value for what you have just given out this morning. I mean, guys, you've had it all, goal setting. You know, it started by, you know, defining goal setting. You know, yesterday when we had, we thought that was everything, guys. If you got value, I just want you to just, uh, you know, just put like triple five for Coach Dan in the chat. Though I know some of our viewers that connected via other live stream, uh, you may not be able to do that, but why not just show some love to this uh, great coach? Amazing teaching. He said the first step into turning the invisible into visible, which is, you said that was being extracted from uh, your mentor, uh, Tony Robbins. And, uh, you know, to me, turning the invisible into visible. Wow, that was, I don't know, that was hard of this word. Goal setting. Ladies and gentlemen, goal setting is everything. You, you've had the first part yesterday. This is the second part. Coach Dan is doing a pretty awesome job. We celebrate you, Coach Dan. Great job. I, and, I, and I hope, uh, Coach Dan, you know, next week is going to be another time. Just like you said, uh, procrastination is still part of what it would hinder people not to have been able to set their goals. Uh, people sometimes even believe that setting goals, they set it in their mind, but they don't know that it's necessary for them to put it uh, in a vision board or a paper or something, right? And to me, I think that is when people really get it wrong. You think setting goal has to be just in the mind they know, not knowing that setting goal should be something that you need to also have it written down. Another thing, again, you mentioned here yeah, during your uh, you know, your teaching is that it, it doesn't mean that it's going to happen like right now, right? So goal setting doesn't mean, but just have your rating down. Now I give you guys our audience, uh, le let me just tell you a short story of my mentor, uh, this person you see at the back, David Monite Jr. You know, I was learning from him. He said in 2008, he built a list uh, about, is it 45 or 28 uh, list of goals for himself? And he said, he, he, he wrote some things down. Okay, I think it's about 40 something. And on number 25 is where he wrote down for Ferrari. He wrote Ferrari there. And he never knew 2008, he was, he was down on his income, but he wrote those things down. Guess what? He was able to achieve the Ferrari in the year 2018 
that was said, he said, those go, it doesn't mean that the goal will happen right now, but keep at it. And that is why, you know, I would teach more further in the goal setting by next week. In fact, the, the action steps into actualization of your goal, what you need to do is it because it's not enough for you when you when you say you have the list, because there are some steps you need to need, you need to know, which are called the five steps to you know setting goals. And this five step, ladies and gentlemen, is what is going to help you to really maximize and ensure that your goal is really going to come to physical manifestation. Because Coach Dan has said everything, but you now need to take steps because he said taking action yesterday, I remember when he said it, is where the whole thing is going to come. Because you need to look at what are you doing that could help you to achieve those goals. Now, guess what? This my mentor was able to achieve and he got to work. He got to work in his present business and that man rose to achieving over $500,000 monthly uh, in that business. And guess what? He was able to easily purchase the Ferrari. And he reminded, in fact, it was on a Zoom presentation like this. He said, listen, guys, and he showed the list. That Ferrari was on number 28 on that list. I will never forget. He was teaching us on, in 2018 and he showed us on the live Zoom. And he said, guys, listen, this is how it is. This is how it works, but don't tarry. That is why the book of Habakkuk 2.2, he said, do it tarries. He said, wait for it because the vision is set for an appointed time. It means that it is set for an appointed time. An appointed time is a set time. Do it tarries. It means that it may not happen right now, but it will definitely, definitely happen. Ladies and gentlemen, go setting by Coach Dan again. We've had it. Thank you, Coach Dan, for what you do. Thank you for being an integral part of this community. Uh, together we sat down, we look at it, and guess what? We didn't allow this thing to get us away. And guys, just a, a, a bonus point into what Coach Dan said. Three things you need to also understand about goal setting. I need you to write this thing. Three types of goal you need to know. So you might need to write this down. Three types of goal, just like something like a bonus as the point to what he has said. We have three types of goal. The first is the A type of goal. Now, when you talk about A type of goal is that you need to see yourself that you already accomplished it. It, it, is, it is mentally. So the A type of goal, you have to see yourself, oh, I have mentally, you know, like just see that it's done. It is accomplished already. And the B type of goal, it means that think maybe it can happen, okay? You better start thinking, maybe it can happen. That is the B type of goal. Now, the C type of goal, ladies and gentlemen, is that you have to now say, you know what? It will stretch me, notwithstanding. You must know that your goal will stretch you. Nothing of value comes easy. Everything of value comes with a cost. It comes with a cost. Remember, it has to stretch you. So first, think that you have accomplished it. Think of how you can make it happen, which is the B and the C. Note that it's going to stress you. Know that you can be where you are at the moment. I say, you want to buy yourself a house in Banana Island. I want to buy a house in the UK. I want to buy in the house. You know, I want, so you know that it must stress you, okay? So those are the three bullet points I needed to share with us this morning just to add up to what Coach Dan said. So again, guys, it's been another great morning and it's been another time to end up the weekend. Remember, we have been here since Monday through Friday. And guess what? We ain't going anywhere. We're just having a short break for the weekend, okay? On Monday morning, we will continue from goal setting, but I won't call it goal setting. I will just tell you how to train your brain to achieve success, okay? That's where I'm gonna teach you. How to train your brain to, achieve. trust me, you don't wanna miss that. I can tell you that you can actually prime and train your brain to achieve success. Trust me, success, is something that when we go through this class, ladies and gentlemen, you will just be like, wow, so you mean I can do it? And there are steps, there are things you need to do. There are things you need to start doing to seeing this thing really, really happen. So ladies and gentlemen, it's been another beautiful week and what a great time, Coach Dan, to end up the weekend. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for this. Thank you very much. 
Guys, everyone connected to this house, we can keep sharing those on our social media and we we'll super celebrate you guys all where you like, where you connected from anywhere part of the world. We want to say thank you for staying put. Thank you for being a member of this amazing Well Secret Mindset Masterclass. We encourage you to join us. We are putting there in the chat group. Please subscribe to our YouTube page, help us build it, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be help us build this community. Let's reach out to more people. Let's get it to the table of more people. You know what? When we don't take responsibility, we might end up in liability. So we don't wanna do that. We need to take responsibility for the success of others around us. And how do they happen? Imagine if they are on this call too, remember the kind of value they will have gotten. So ladies and gentlemen, we say thank you. Please, on the chat to put it there, join our WhatsApp group. We want you to be part of our WhatsApp group because we may not be able to share it on all the rest of the groups, but we want to build our WhatsApp group so that when we share one message, it can get to everybody in this community and eventually we'll take it up into Telegram and that is how we grow. And also join, subscribe to our YouTube and and let us get this value. The, the video again will be shared on our group and all our social media handles. So we encourage you to subscribe. Thank you. God bless you guys. To all the beautiful people, every member of this community will celebrate you. Remember, it is not the number that counts. It is where we are going because you must be able to see where you are going. In setting goal, you have to see it, okay? And they say seeing it is believing it. We know where we are going. We will impact 5,000 lives from now and December 31st, 2021. So thank you. What a time to, what a great time to end the weekend. Coach Dan, your parting word. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Flavio. You know, well, let's just stay connected. And like you said, when the video is out, please share and also be a part 